So uh, let me tell you who's coming up next. So Mr. Uh, Gary Orsolini of Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Uh, he is Technology Director for Hewlett Packard Education Services Technology Consulting. He's been involved with technical innovation for over 30 years. He manages worldwide engineering teams responsible for HP's technical learning infrastructure. Gary holds three patents for collaboration software and understands how distributed worldwide organizations can best utilize communication and collaboration enabled business processes, or CEBP, to enhance organizational efficiencies. So please welcome Mr. Gary Orsolini. So it's, uh, we live here? So it's a, uh, a real pleasure to be here today with you all and uh, it's not just uh, my pleasure because Chris the pulled pork was fabulous, ah. you know, I'm just saying. So it's because um, of the excitement about the uh, debut of the HMT1 and, and what it's bringing to the marketplace. Um, I'm not just excited, I'm, my daughters have taught me, I, they abbreviate, it's V, I'm V excited, okay? If you, so you, know, you can say it's V cool, well, I'm V excited. And uh, I'm gonna come back and, and talk a little bit more about that. Uh, what I wanna do is just do a little context setting. So in uh, 2011, we uh, partnered, we took our MyRoom collaboration platform that we had invented um, 12 years prior in 1999, if my math is right. We took that collaboration platform, and what we did is we partnered with our HP printer group. Because these, uh, they basically wanted to change the way customer support was happening. And I'm not talking about the little printers that we all know about. I'm talking about printers that are 80 feet wide, right, long. They're two to three tons. They build, they, they print, you know, two to three million books a year. So when those printers aren't working, uh, you know, no one's happy. Um, support costs can be five. $10,000 a month on those things. So we partnered with them in uh, 2011. We took our MyRoom environment, and what we did is we had the software running on the console, and we had a camera on a wand. And in, when something would happen with the printer, instead of them picking up the phone, they'd touch the console, and it would connect in my room that console to our support engineers, their support engineers at that time we were, to, uh, and they would basically in 15 seconds say, uh, you know, Bob at ABC Printing, what's going on? And so the metrics we would develop is, number one, reduce the time to respond. So I'll, I'll leave it to you to figure, instead of getting on a phone and calling, if you can touch you know, console and in 15 sec seconds be connected to somebody that says, Bob, you know, show me your problem, you know, that reduced the time to respond. The second metric was reduce the time to come to a common understanding of the problem. Well, now they can see and try to fix the problem, but you can see the inherent difficulty with the camera on a wand. So then, basically in 2013 when Google Glass came along, we jumped on it, we had an Android client, we integrated it into my room, and we started down that path. So we've been doing wearables uh, for, you know, was that four years? But now back to, that's all the past, that's history. What about today? Why are we excited, V excited? We're excited because the HMT1, I think is a game changer. I heard the word gateway from, I think, Andrew, uh, uh, Andy is a, a gateway device, basically. And I think that's what it is. So I'm gonna show you one slide, and I'm gonna need my glasses here, if you bear with me, to show you what the demo is gonna look like, and then we're gonna jump right into the demo. So um, let's see here. If all the t technology's working here, so um, this is what we're gonna do. So VRG, Visual Remote Guidance, we co-invented it with, you know, in, in 2011. Uh, it's the remote mentor. And uh, what we're gonna do is it connects devices securely through the cloud, fully encrypted. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect, I'm anywhere in the world, they're back in the brewery there on the HMT1, they're anywhere in the world, and we're basically, that's the demo that we're gonna do. So we're gonna pull this down, we're gonna bring up the environment, and we're gonna hope for the best. So we can already see that Chris is in there. I'm gonna get rid of this slide, Chris. So Chris is basically seeing everything uh, that um, we're doing here, 
It's full collaboration. So what I can do, a lot of the devices are hard to interface with. One of a, the most amazing things about the HMT1 is about you can just talk to it. And we spent a few days working with the team, and we've already enabled basically um, you know, all these different commands. So that all works. So when you use run VRG and you can talk to it, you can do all these things. But I'm going to basically take control of um, the HMT1, and I'm going to basically turn on their camera. We'll turn on their mic, and hopefully if everything's working. So hopefully you're seeing uh, what's going on there, and you're seeing the live feed. So you guys hearing me? Let me turn on my microphone. Turn on my microphone. So we're getting a little bit of feedback, but it's full two-way synchronous collaboration. It looks like we got a little bit of feedback that we weren't getting before. You guys hear me? Chris? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. All right, let me, maybe I'll pull my mic down a little bit. So um, I think Chris was going to come up and be our SME, our expert. So Chris, where are you? Oh, you're right behind me. Hey, good. Okay, Chris, so why don't we uh, go ahead and um, what I'm going to do to get a little bit more clarity, I'm going to pop this off and put the video there and we'll, we'll get to the demo mode. So there's the live video. So again, this is going from here to our servers in Houston and back in real time. So this is not peer to peer. This is real world kind of, uh, it's real. There's no magic here. So go ahead, uh, Chris, what do we want to fix? So Chris, it seems like you have an issue with the bottling line there. Can you tell yeah, me? Yeah, I'm at the bottling, I'm, at, I'm here at the bottling machine and nothing's happening. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's a problem. So can you tell me what you see on the screen there? Can you look at the screen a little more Yeah, let's, let me have a look. So I see a screen, there's a few buttons on there. It's snap, but I haven't got a clue what to press. All right, so I just took a snap. So again, we can remote control the whole thing, and that's the snap that just came in. So now Chris is seeing not only his video, but he's seeing uh, the snapshot we just took. Because we designed it so that the person wearing the wearable doesn't really have to touch it. All they have to do is collaborate. So what do we want to do? What do we want to, let's get a circle here. We want to get a circle, and once I make it, we can move it around. So we're, we're going to annotate on the um, on the reset button. That's the re I got it right. You know, it's almost like we might have pressed. No, okay. So there's the reset button. So Chris, if you could go ahead, okay. and if you can press that reset button. I see, for me. I see the button. I will press it now. Got it. Okay, now Chris, can you walk around to the other side of the machine where you actually feed the bottles in? Sure. Let me have a step around here. Okay. And by the way, the audio is on the void. This is all in my room. So this is all going through the environment. Okay. Hey, Gary, if yeah. you can give me my big screen camera, that'd yeah. be great. Okay, so I'm going to kill the uh, picture. So there you go. So now we're back. So there you go. Your big screen there, Chris. Okay. Great. So it looks like you're all set. Go ahead and uh, go back to the screen, and I want you to press auto run. Auto run. Auto run, huh? Okay, I can figure that out, I think. Let me have a look. Can you guys imagine if I'm fly fishing somewhere, I don't have to be here anymore, and they can just call me? Hey, Chris, you need some light? You need some light? Let me turn on your light for you, Chris. <laughs> Okay, turn See, on the I just, oh, I just turned on the light right. remotely for him, and if they... Uh... What I run, here we go. Oh, something's happening. I'm scared. Don't be scared, it'll be fine. Don't be scared, it'll be fine. Okay. Can you see things happening? Yeah, it looks like I can see that you're actually filling bottles. Everything looks good. So we can also telestrate on the uh, on the live video as well. So let me pick up. Uh, we'll take up pick up a, a drawing tool here. Uh, uh, that's um, a problem. Yeah, that's it looks a problem, like, guys. Yeah, it looks like you didn't put another row of bottles on there, Chris. Chris is, now what? Chris doesn't work for me, so he's trying. So where would the row of bottles go? So they, the actual row of bottles go right across there. So if you can right, annotate so, that right okay, there. Okay, yeah. So right in here. Yeah, he needs to load a whole other set there. Yeah, that, you know I, what? I, they don't. They don't really trust me to do the bottles, but Jesse here is going to come and help us. Say hi, Jesse. Brilliant. Jesse knows what to do. But so I'm now the remote manager. Perfect. Look at this man go. You're hired. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Okay, so now just go back to the panel and you're going to okay. uh, hit reset. Hit reset. I'm hitting reset now. Okay, and okay. then go ahead and set auto run. Got it. Now I can get back to fly fishing. All right.
Okay, I think okay, we're I'll, done, take hey, a, we? I'll take a quick snap of that. So hold it still there. Let's see it. So we have proof that worked. Yeah. All right, good. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. Sounds good. So there we have documentation. Turn your video off. Right. Right on. So awesome. Appreciate it, SME you. expert. You yes. must know something about this uh, operation. Yeah. All right, good, good. Right. So um, that's you know that's that's it working live. I have a few more slides that we can kind of go. Thanks, Chris, in the back there, and. Uh, So, in terms of, uh, I want to be uh, cognizant of the time. Do we? How much time do, do we chew up? We got. Uh, usually they hold up cards. You know, you have two minutes, three minutes, but um, that makes sense. So. Um, you know, live through the cloud, uh, fully encrypted. Uh, this is the platform that I talked about. And this is, we've had this platform for I think 17 years. We do over 5 billion minutes in it. So when Glass first hit, instead of doing like a, a, a simple video web RTC, we were exactly the opposite. We already had a rich collaboration platform. We used an e-learning and training. And we had this the story with our printer group. So we just simply started hooking in the wearables. So uh, this is kind of the chronology. Um, we're kind of on VRG3. Uh, if you have a device, uh, like when I got here the other day, uh, last Thursday with the HMTs, the one that just got over, we can license a device in a couple of minutes. So it's a registered asset that you can control. You can disable it, you can know where it is from GPS. So you can get any device, we call it head, no hands, or HUD heads up display, no hands. You can do it on your phones, Android, iOS, or you can do it on two hands. So no hands, one hand, two hand. We can license any device and get it up and working, connecting securely through the cloud in a couple of minutes. And so that's the way it works. Another couple of things we did is what if you had 10 customers all coming in to one room? So you can decide what room it comes into, or you can come into multiple rooms. But what if 10 people all need support at the same time? One thing we did is we engineered a concept and we even filed a patent, we call it the waiting room. So when you first come in, you connect into a room, it's like calling a sports center. The SMEs see the customers come in and they can simply right click and they can warp the person out of that waiting room into a one-on-one -on -one private room and then they can do that full support. So it's a, it's a way to scale this in the enterprise. It's not just about connecting, you know, audio and video, like you can do that on FaceTime or Skype. It's a really about what's the enterprise process process to turn this into a scalable solution to do remote mentoring or what we call visual remote guidance. Okay, so that's kind of what we're about. And I think the only other slide, there's a couple other slides. I think I've gone through this. Now what's interesting being inside of uh, Hewlett Packard Enterprise is we're really moving heavily as a strategic initiative into the IOT to the edge. We put out a whole line of edge line hardened servers. So we know a lot in Hilo Packard Enterprise about IT, and so now we're moving from IT to OT, operational technology. That's moving the data center out to the edge, and we're doing it with these edge line servers. And so we're involved in a number of deals where we're putting this technology not only in the SaaS, in the cloud, but we're also moving towards the ability to move it on a edge line server inside a premise. So now, because you think about these IIoT, industrial internet things, power plants, manufacturing, they want to protect their secrets. You know, they, they're really guarding that. So now we can put this technology inside and protect it with firewalls. And the last slide is we're going to something that could be a hybrid. A lot of people are, are going to this scenario. So we're basically an enterprise grade solution, fully encrypted, that allows you to connect any device anywhere in the world to anyone else. And it's not just one to one. You, if you don't, if you have the S of me, if Chris wasn't the expert, he could bring in Bob or John somewhere else in the world. This is one-to-one, one, one to many. So it's fully collaborative. So that's basically, I hope that explains what we're doing, and I'm sure glad the demo worked, and thanks to Chris and everybody in the back. Thanks.